What's happened with um, Lobster Fairman founder Jimmy Asquith? I covered this before on my podcast regarding him. And essentially, he was accused of sexual assault and grooming by, I think, one person um, who had a pretty, you know, heartbreaking story about coming down to London from Scotland because of him. And he basically took advantage of her, allegedly. And, you know, some unfortunate circumstances or things happened, you know, which basically that person accused him of sexual assault and whatnot. And then he ended up having to basically put a statement out, um, basically saying he's going to take some time away. And since then, I've been into, you know, a check from time to time on RA and stuff, and he hasn't been booked anywhere, nowhere. So he hasn't come back off the back of this. Now, I wonder if this is probably the first legit cancellation I've seen in dance music. I don't think you see them that often. Usually people kind of have to go away for a bit and then they come back again because, you know, people want to book them and stuff. They've got a name. Um, they need to make some money, wherever it may be. And they kind of come back and people maybe just forget. But with this... Um, one in terms of Asquith number one I haven't seen him get booked anywhere anytime soon unless people are not putting him on bills on lineup story and still booking him behind the scenes and of course his Instagram meme account I forgot the name of it. I think it might have been Katsu, Katsu for something like that that account hasn't been updated since the allegations transpired either so this is kind of the other side of like dance music counterculture where like it does work for some people and other people it doesn't work for and i'm just wondering why in this particular case it seemed to work for this guy this lobster ferryman dude but not for anybody else because i've got a feeling as much as a piece of shit that felix hall sounds like he's probably going to be able to kind of weather the storm put his head down and pop back up again and pretend you know like nothing happened but for some reason um with jimmy asquith it's not really worked out the same way maybe the severity of the crimes are maybe you know the reasons why who knows um that could probably be put you know part of the reason like if you get accused of you know some some could argue if you take your position that you've got in culture to do great things and you take a bunch of people and you get accused of this you probably shouldn't come back in any way shape or form anyway but i'm just wondering why it seems like his one seems to be sticking more like wh where is jimmy at? And, and and if that's the case and he's actually cancelled what is he actually doing now I'm curious about that. Like, what is he actually doing now, day to day? What is he doing to maybe change the air, you know, change his past behaviors to make it right with the other person who basically accused him of this? Um, if that's at all possible, um, what's he doing for money just day to day? Like, what happens when you get, when you go from being like a pretty popular DJ who people seem to like? Cause I feel like on social media, he was kind of well liked also because he seemed to have a pretty jovial manner online to take not to take self too seriously the instagram account was super popular at the time as well and then you just kind of it all kind of stops what happens what's life after like getting cancelled obviously the person that accused him the victim probably doesn't give a shit and probably hopes he flipping gets run over in traffic that's understandable but just as an outside perspective of somebody that's not involved in the slightest i'm just curious to know what he's doing day to day like what's happening there i wonder is he working in tesco's is he just chilling out is he playing under a pseudonym like what's what's the deal i'm really really curious because um let's see let's see what, what was his final statement in these because he released a statement on twitter when it actually happened and i've got it here on the screen what did he actually say at the end of it like what was the final statement there the final page of the statement that he read because i think it was like four pages it was quite a lot there was a lot of words that he put out there to kind of essentially refute this um what do you say uh, given these lies and distortions of events oh that's what he did didn't he? he didn't actually admit it he actually defended himself and said he didn't do it which is a pretty ballsy move to be fair um, he says I've worked in the electronic music industry for over 10 years and I've invested countless hours of, to artists labels colleagues and many individuals who had aspirations and those who quite simply just wanted to take some advice or talk to I have conducted myself as professionally as possible where while growing and learning as a human being during that time I've had my I've had own my own struggles with mental health Health, alcohol and substances i'm sure there has been moments in these times where my behavior has been uncomfortable but if that has ever been the case or if i've ever upset anyone then i'm truly sorry for this but since then again he hasn't been seen since then so i wonder what the guy is doing day to day i wonder what he's doing day to day i really do i'm just kind of curious from the outside looking in but i'm sure most people out there don't give an absolute scooby what he's doing day to day because of the offense that he committed which is understandable to 